Hey, what's up everybody, How to Tech, and we have a LG G5 to go ahead and pull apart for you today. Use a few tools, a couple opening tools. Try to stay away from this metal tool as much as possible and use these guitar picks. We have a couple of pry tools and a small Phillips screwdriver. This is a triple O. We need a SIM card removal tool, so we're going to go ahead and pop this in and remove the tray out of here. Now this will be the screen disassembly, so we'll use, be using a heat gun as well. I will do a separate video talking about the charge port battery, click mechanism, and uh, volume button kind of a disassembly. So I'll check that out. I'll throw it in the description down below. I'm going to go ahead and remove both the Phillips screws on the bottom of this phone. It holds the display assembly into the mid-frame of the device. Now with both of the screws removed, we're just going to use our pry tool and I'm not putting a lot of force behind this. I'm just pulling up on the side of the screen here to need to lift up. Apologize about that being off camera. I've got a new rig and it is not the easiest to use. I'll have to get used to it a little bit. So once we get it just started a little bit, we're going to take our guitar pick and just slide it in to get us kind of the gap we're looking for to get this started. I mean, this thing is really snug. We're talking like the HTC M7, M9 series type phones is uh, how snug this thing is. So it's a really, really, really tight fit. Now that we've got it kind of started, uh, we're just going to use it a tiny bit more. We just want to get it deep enough where we're going to hit the clips in the bottom. You have to get it uh, pretty far in there to make that happen. The portion that clicks into the midframe is at the very bottom of the display frame. So we're just going to take our tools and work our way up the side uh, using one lower to create pressure, putting another one in and then pulling up on it. And it's putting it in nice and deep. Now I'm using the thinnest guitar picks that you can find. Uh, so they're a little bit flimsy, but uh, they'll do the job. You just have to push them up and down there a few times to get them to unclip where you want them to. All right, so we've made pretty good progress. You see that we've got a lot of clips out. And I can put my pry tool in and kind of flip it sideways. Once you get to that point, uh, you can just go ahead and start working on the opposite side. There's a little bit of a top clip up here. just want to try to get that as much as possible. Do the same thing down here on this side, take our pry tool, just twist it a little bit to start that pressure. I am not putting a ton of force on it, I'm just trying to create a gap that I can get my tool into. Let's try to get it started in the side, and this side should go a lot easier for you. you see, we've already made our progress all the way up the side. Now with that done, we can just go ahead and pull the display straight out. Perfect. So now, let's go ahead and start taking apart the phone here. I'm going to take up all the little cable connectors here. This one's for the display itself. This one's for the rear-facing camera, one of them. This is for the front-facing camera. Whoops. Popped right off. Here's the little guy. Hey, buddy. Now we can go ahead and start to remove the screws holding the logic board in. So all these silver screws will have to come out of the mid-frame here. We have a few more up at the top. We have four. One towards the edge of the phone, one towards the earpiece speaker, and then one on the right hand side, right above where the battery actually connects in. So, kind of interesting design on the cameras here. You can see that we have two on the back one's a, a wide angle lens, and one's just a standard lens. The one in the silver casing here is actually the standard 16 megapixel camera, the one with the optical image stabilization, and the wide angle is the all black one, and that's an 8 megapixel. It doesn't have the OIS, so if you're looking to replace your cameras, that's which one each of these are. So we can go ahead and start to pull the board up, and you can see that the wide angle lens is coming up with the board. There's a connector holding it onto the back of the logic board, so we can go ahead and flip that over. You can actually just disconnect it like all the other cables, so if you're looking to replace that, it comes off just like the other camera on the front. It's just hooked to a connector on the back of the board. There we go. This does 135 degree wide angle, so it gets a lot in the shot. It's kind of cool. All right, so now that we have that removed, we can go ahead and work on the rear camera. And it just pops right up. Let's put your spudge right underneath. It'll come right out for you. Now before we go ahead and work on removing the display, we have to remove the earpiece speaker because that's over the ribbon cable uh, for the display itself. So just using a pair of tweezers and be very careful. This thing is like it's spring loaded. It just flies out once you get it to pop out. So just take your time. 
and then try to listen to where it flies off to so you can go pick it up. So now that's done, we can go ahead and just pull up the ribbon cable holding the display down. We want to move the display cable all the way up to the very top. Make sure there's no adhesive holding it down. It's nice and open and flappy. Now with that done, we can use our heat gun and go ahead and heat up the display. You want to get it nice and warm. And this is not using double-sided adhesive. This is actually using glue to hold this display in. Uh, if you've seen phones like the Motorola uh, glue that's holding the plastic bezel on to the display of the phone or when you're removing the frame, plastic frame off of the display on an iPhone, it's the same type of glue that they're using on this uh, to hold the display down all the way around. So uh, it's really tricky to get into. So I'm going to try to use a guitar pick if possible and it's just a no-go. The only way to use and get into this is with a isesimal tool, in my opinion, at this point. Now, you can do what I just did, which is stick it in too far. Uh, if you do that, heat your display up really quick and just push down on it, and then uh, it'll kind of re-adhere itself. So we're just going to take a playing card. Once we've started it with the isesimal, and just run the card up the side, not going past the black bezel portion on the device. You don't want to go into the actual display. I was lucky. I didn't hit the backlight on this display. I just went into between the display and the liquid optical clear adhesive or the optical clear adhesive holding the display on. So a little bit of heat and you can actually just re-adhere itself. Now just using your playing card and going up the sides and really the goal is to just loosen the glue off. We're not putting it in very far. You can see it's just barely, barely in there, maybe a millimeter uh, onto the side of the display. Uh, once you feel pretty good that you've got all the glue off that side, we're going to go ahead and heat it up again and then work on the bottom portion of the phone. And see if we can't go across the bottom. You can see there's kind of glue, white glue on the edges of the frame of the phone now where it's gone out. So uh, we can put a guitar pick in here now. You can see that it's nice and free, but beforehand uh, there just was not a gap at all. So uh, something to check as you're doing it. Make sure you get it all the way off if you're looking to remove this without damaging. Now, if you have a damaged display, there's no point in being gentle. Heat this sucker up and rip it off. Um, you can just use the isesimal tool um, or basically a guitar pick. Now you want to be careful down here at the bottom uh, where I'm heating up now because there is a piece of bezel that runs across the bottom here and you don't want to mess that up when you try to reassemble your phone. Uh, so something to be aware of. So I'm just going to use my finger to kind of pull up here. Uh, you should be able to start seeing a little bit underneath the display. And what we need to do is get our card around the corner and then down at the bottom of the phone. There we go can use this to help us work our way down. Now the bezel here is much bigger, it's about twice the size it is on the side of the phone, so uh, get your card in there and really start to pry it up. So now you can see that we have a good working on both sides. Uh, when I'm going to pull this to the side, you'll be able to see the actual backlight to the, the phone. Uh, there's that white piece in there. You want to put your playing card in and underneath this. And that'll make sure you don't go into the backlight at this point. Now what we can do is just heat up the opposite side here. And with our playing card already inserted, just run it down the side or back of the phone by the backlight. And that'll help us pull it off. You still want to heat it up to get the glue a little more pliable. You don't want to damage the display if it is still working at this point. All right, now we can take our card, run it down the side. It should be nice and easy because there's no worry about damage in that backlight. All right, so now we've got it open pretty far. You can see that it's kind of folding open like a book. Now, this top portion, you have to be very careful because this is where the display cable is at, as well as there's actually an antenna cable um, that's hooked in underneath the top of the display here, some double-sided adhesive. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I made the mistake of not realizing that it was attached. I don't think I damaged it, but um, it definitely kind of threw me for a loop when I was first taking the display off. So we're just going to take it and we're going to heat it up again. Take a new playing card. Start it down the side here. So it gets really tricky up in here, uh, right towards the side over here. It does not want to pop off. So be careful of your display cable. You don't want to damage it. 
So I'm keeping it right above, right about where the speaker grill is at. Just down the side. Got a really, really snug over here towards the side of the device. So we're gonna have to go ahead and heat it up some more, it looks like on this side. Possibly let's try another card on this side also. Let's see how snug it is. Just does not want to open up, and you don't want to just rip it open unless your display is damaged. Then uh, you can, but there's some double-sided adhesive holding the uh, cable on the the front side here. So I'm going to skip to that. I'm going to show you what you need to remove. So there's a little cable piece here. There's a couple of them on the front uh, that is holding the display on because the way that it's being removed is it's still attached. So we're going to pull that off, kind of pull it through. And you can see the cable all the way down, but this cable also attaches a little bit further up, kind of near towards the connector side. And you can see the two gold contacts just right there at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up also. Just make sure all these connectors are up and out. And a lot of times it looks like it's still going to be attached to the glass when you're looking to remove uh, it off the phone. Now if you're lucky enough maybe you'll get underneath this cable and in between the adhesive and the glass um, but I wasn't that lucky. Now with those removed we can go ahead and just pull the phone out and kind of away and pull the display out. Perfect there we go. So now we have our display and you can see the cable just running right above the earpiece speaker there also. So now let's see if we jacked our display up at all. Um, do a little bit to figure out what pins are going to turn this on, but it's actually uh, the two bottom to the left there. And we're well, looking pretty good there now. I don't see any rainbowing on it, and my little mess up down there at the corner seems to be all right. Well, we've got T Mobile logo pulling up, which is a good sign. I'm going to test the touch here in just a second. It is pretty important that that still functions properly. Well, it looks like I got a little tiny scrape on the bottom left hand corner of the display. Uh, so just be very careful with it. But all in all, I think it came out pretty well. If you found the video helpful, hit that like button. I'll try to do the reassembly uh, in the coming days. I'll have to get some glue to read to hear this screen back onto the device. Uh, so check that out. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.